about what is laser? What makes it different from any other light or any other technology we use in cosmetology because there is a lot of different things we use in cosmetology, especially clinical cosmetology. What is the difference between clinical and medical aesthetics, especially for the laser? Because it's quite important for us to know which niche we occupy as clinical aestheticians or laser technicians, depending where you work. And Mackenzie and myself, Julia, are more than happy to let you know absolutely everything. So Mackenzie, please let our students know what is laser. We all hear this word, laser, laser, laser. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. So laser actually isn't just a cool name. I mean, it is a pretty cool name. Don't get it wrong. It's like laser, <laughs> but it actually does stand for something. So it stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Woo, that's right. a little defensive words. What does it actually mean? So that light amplification, when we are talking about laser, we are dealing with visible light on our electromagnetic spectrum. Now, electromagnetic spectrum is also just a big fancy word that that just pretty much says that we have lots of different things that can be on a wavelength spectrum. Um, we think back to grade seven or eight science when we first oh, learned about right? this, whether it be a long time ago or not. But and we uh, all probably thought we don't need it. I know, right? <laughs> and you're like, why do I need this? And this is where it comes into play. Um, on there, we have that visible light spectrum on there, pretty much the rainbow, if you would like to call it. Um, it all has different nanometers or different wavelengths in which that it has on this mm -hmm. spectrum. Visible light typically is more near the middle of this spectrum. However, light amplification, so we're dealing with that visible light, it will be amplified and downgraded in certain areas just depending on yes, what, what kind doing. of laser you're doing. Um, by stimulated emission of radiation. So these are radiation, whether it be as intense of like an X-ray or a gamma yeah. ray, or as little as this visible light spectrum. So it is a little bit of radiation, but not enough to be like harmful for your body, but Absolutely. it is all a low form of radiation. Absolutely. <laughs> so once again, when you think about it, what you think first of all, probably it's, you know, those cool action movies with laser beams and guns shooting. <laughs> This is kind of what we're doing too, yeah. because we actually call the handles of a laser machine a gun, a laser gun. Mm -hmm. So guess what? We're going to be doing fancy gun shooting, <laughs> but we're doing it in a fancy and very stable environment. It's a controlled environment. The light what comes out gets amplified. What does that mean? It means on the spot, exactly where we are, it's stronger, it's bigger. It could be either fan light, like an IPL, or yeah. could be really direct beam, like in other lasers. And that what will depend on, uh, kind of determine what we're actually doing with that laser, how we're choosing it. Radiation, absolutely right. It could be dangerous. This is why you would absolutely need to watch the portal about laser safety. Even if it is a minimum exposure to radiation, it's still exposure and it can affect anything from our health to our sight and a lot of other things where we need to make sure we're staying safe, right? Amplification, one other thing, there's different ways to amplify the light and this comes in play when we talk about different laser types because depending on the amplifier, whichever is used, to make that light stronger will affect how it works as well as it will affect the name of the laser machine. If you hear something like ruby, you actually know it goes through the ruby crystal. For real, it's ruby crystal. Alexandrite, same thing. When we talk about IPL, different technology, but generally it's a diamond laser, right? Or a specific formulation what simulates the diamond to amplify, right? We have Yagutherium, stuff like this. And that will depend, will change the way the beam actually works, for sure. From that spectrum, as Mackenzie said, it's a rainbow. So depending on the color and the strength, that's when we get to all the waves and nanometers and all of this kind of stuff. But depending on all of that, will 
show us what treatment we can do. So this is just kind of beginning of understanding. We're not gonna throw everything at you at once. We just go slowly and surely introduce you to this. Laser can get overwhelming, but trust me, with two of us and every other instructor at the institute, you got it. Another thing we can see we didn't really touch yet is the what is the difference between regular light and a laser light? We said, yeah, it's a light, yes, it's a rainbow, but we can't really remove hair with a rainbow. No. no. <laughs> so what is the specific characteristics of laser light and why is it different from any other light? Would you mind to let me know? Yeah. I mean, it's a little similar in some ways. When we are dealing with regular light that's just around us, uh, the colors that we see is the light that's actually being absorbed by that particular substance. So I see this as like a pink, I see some blues. It's because that's actually the light that's being absorbed. However, if we are taking our laser light, typically depending on the laser will depend on the different wavelengths of which we're using. Um, those specific wavelengths go into that skin to treat very specific skin concerns. Mm -hmm. um, the difference between it being that, you know, we can actually utilize specific wavelengths to target very specific things. If we know which wavelength can target our hair follicle, we can actually make sure that that laser light actually gives that wavelength instead of just using regular light. Um, to actually target the hair follicle and those nutrients. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, another thing, if you don't mind, I can say I would add is uh, regular light is actually polychrome, which is why we see the rainbow. In the light, there is actually all the different colors, and depending on the surface, it will reflect differently. Where laser light is monochrome, it's actually only one color, and we will amplify that color, just what we talked previously, depending on the amplifier. This is where we will achieve either green or blue or red, whatever we need, depending on the amplifier. That's how we know what we will be doing, but it is only one color. Another difference between them, it's coherent and not coherent. Would you mind to go a little bit further on that? Yeah. Um Cut. <laughs> you can it's like, yeah. it's okay, it's okay. Okay, cut. It's okay, Jake. We, we gotta just uh, do this again. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can talk about it. It's all good. Okay. Uh, all right. So, okay, Jake, sorry. Once again, um, right before we froze here, and I threw my cans under the bus. I'm really sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> right? okay. Um, so, action again. Uh, another part what makes laser light different from the regular light is coherent or not coherent. What that basically means, how active, how frequent is the light, if uh, or how kind of like congested or spread it out. If we talk about regular light, it's actually not coherent. It's all over the place. It's everywhere. Where laser light is direct, and that what makes it coherent. It puts all of it together in one beam. For every laser except IPL. IPL is actually not a true laser because the light there is fanned. It's not one direct beam. It shoots like a fan of lights. Even if it has all the laser characteristics, that one, it's missing. It's not coherent, it's fan light. But we will explore on this a little bit more when we get to different type of lasers and explain you why they're called different way, how they operate differently, and what we need to know about them. Is there anything else you think, Mackenzie, we should add? Or do you think that's pretty good that's for pretty good. You know, <laughs> knowing what is laser and why is it different from regular light? Stay tuned for the next portal.